is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. I mean, he doesn't go hero to hated, but Jimmy Johnson failed here. You know what? The thing that saved him was he didn't go from Canes to Dolphins. He let you know even worse. Even worse. He wins a national championship. He wins two in Dallas. Three because he set the other coach up with the third because it's really his championship. And he comes here and he flops. Well, look, we're you not pro- you proved you can do it in college in the NFL, and then you come to then you come to the NFL town where you won a college championship. And you flopped. Yeah, but because of what he did here as as a cane and the way he saves his totally, ass. Well, yeah, and he's always said, "Look, I graduated from such. You know, I, I coached. My school is UM. He's always been a cane, hard. You know, and that say it does. It does say because from hey, a hey, do, hey me from a dolphin standpoint, dude. I thought I thought we were." We all thought we were headed okay. to somewhere special. Because you know Everyone what it was? was? He built us a defense. We hadn't had a defense since Arnsparger. Yes. Yes. We thought we were on track. Yes. But you, you do know. You do realize. But we don't lie. I, I, I'm not happy real, with him. You do realize that he had more failure in Miami than success. And I'm saying overall. Over Well, the, 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 the that last game, man, that it just... That's always, it is. You know, that is a Jimmy, mark. Jimmy Jimmy couldn't beat Oklahoma when he was at Oklahoma State, okay? Nope. And when they brought him here, it was like, dude, that guy can't win at Oklahoma State. Why would he win here? And you think about it. There's a, you know, Jimmy the Johnson. The only three losses Jimmy those Johnson, three years? Jimmy Johnson walks a fine line. Uh, understand this. Let me Let me explain how his world walks a fine line, okay? He wins the championship because they're loaded here, but he lost a championship that he should have won by stupidity. Just hand the ball off. Just hand the ball off to Alonzo Highsmith, and you win. And his knuckleheadedness kept allowing Vinny Testaverde to throw the ball. Correct? He then goes to Dallas, and he wins those championships, but he didn't want Troy Aikman. He had to be convinced of Troy Aikman. Okay? so. So he had to be convinced in order to have the dynasty. Because if you don't have Troy, I don't know if you get the championships. Not exactly sure. Because if if the guy, Gil Brandt, is not on your personnel staff and he's blown out with Tech Schramm and Landry, then who convinces you of Troy? And you never draft Troy. And maybe you never win any of the championships. Maybe you're really good, but you fall short because you don't have a quarterback. You ever heard of that, Chicago Bears? Uh, so you know what I'm saying? So things like that happen all the time. And then he comes, to, you know, in Miami, his best team he lost with. The one he won was not his best team. And then he comes to Miami as a Dolphin coach, and we're going to be special and they were never special, and they were thoroughly embarrassed in the first round of the playoffs. They won a couple, and then they lost in the second round, embarrassing fashion. If you really look at it, if you're objective, he walked a fine line of failure and success that I can make a case for either one, dude. I can make a case for... You know, he was a good coach, but had a couple breaks that he needed badly, okay? And clearly he needed help because he wasn't smart enough to figure out some things. Just saying. Just saying. You know, he's not the godlike that you would put. It's not the football god that sometimes we make him out to be. He's really not. Okay? There were breaks that went his way, and he's kind of a riverboat gambler, and some of the gambles paid off for him. But there were certain things that, without the proper guidance, 
You know, it's like he needed a Gil Brandt that day in the in the Fiesta Bowl. He needed somebody to grab him and say, yo, do you remember Vinny choked his ass out against Tennessee in the Sugar Bowl? We've gotten 60 yards down the field, handing off to Alonzo. Are you going to keep You're allowing at the him to, sh- to choke this thing out? How many more? You know what I'm saying? It just, you know, you know, it's nothing personal. I'm just being brutally objective. Okay? You know, and I just... You know, if, if you if you really look at it, okay, there's that you know, fine line, dude. You know what? Here, I'll tell you what it is. Because if you remember the first year, we're eight and four. We lose the UCLA, and that's when he changed his coaching staff. We go eight and five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then from there is when we start to ascend. Eighty-five. If Vinny doesn't throw a bunch of interceptions, we could have won the championship. All right. Because. Penn State is down here, the only undefeated team, losing to Oklahoma. That's right. Well, we beat three years. We were the only team that beat them. There are three losses in those three years. One of the greatest 86. One, one of the greatest UM plays ever is Vinny holding the helmet of a linebacker and throwing right over his head and completing a pass. I mean, Vinny was physically, he was. Oh, he, 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 nobody. My Lord. What at a UM. Freak. Yeah, he probably had the most. Physically? Gifts. Yeah, physically. Yeah, yes. Yes. No doubt. Only Kelly. And, I mean, you think about that it's 85, could have won, 86, should have won, 87, we do. Yeah. 88, obviously, we all know Notre Dame right, and right, the right. Final, blah, but you look at that built our dynasty, yeah. He and that's him, no, and no. that's coming off well, an 85 could, he, start. My point is he could recruit, but there oh. were key decisions that in his life. If there isn't somebody to hold his hand yeah, that, and, and put him in the right direction. Right, that, that, that it. He he screwed up eighty seven, right? And he almost screwed up the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I mean? So, because Steve Walsh is not winning those championships for you, I'm sorry. I'm just no, no, not happening. Even though he was uh, ten and zero as a starter, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not buying it. Huh? No, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying. It. Sometimes you're a product of the people around you are so good that they carry you. Now that Dallas team could have been good enough to carry him. I. Think of that offensive line. Yeah. They were all all pros. Oh, no, yeah. They had Emmitt. One of the greatest lines ever, dude. And, yeah, yeah, no <sighs> doubt. I can remember Man. Madden always talking about how hard they're working and look how far the sweat is down the guy's leg. You know, Mike, Mike Lynn, marks. another great break for him where he gets 4,000 picks for Herschel Walker. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, you know, it just, so I just, he's awesome and all that and he's a Hall of Famer, but, you know, I just, Look at what really happened, and you know, there, there are moments where you like. This could have gone horribly awry. Could have gone the other way for him easily, man, in the process.